But I'm going to be teaching you about three different reactions that have s similar mechanisms. The Suzuki, the Sonogashiro, and the Buchwald Hartwig reactions. First up is the Suzuki. The Suzuki reaction contains a boronic acid cell with we start off with an aryl group with a, with a boronic acid which is right here and the boronic acid has to be either sp2 or sp3 Connect, connected to a carbon that's sp2 or sp3 and we add that to anything say let's just uh, connect it and the uh, bromine on the aromatic should be sp2 it, it doesn't have to be aromatic it can be anything as long as the uh, carbon that it's attached to is sp2 so here it's sp2 here it's sp2 we have to have the palladium catalyst as well as potassium carbonate be getting a mixture of these two. The aromatic along with not the, the aryl, not the aromatic along with that and we get this to end the reaction. Now I'm going to tell you how this works. So we start off with palladium, zero. We're starting off with palladium, zero. We uh, bring this down, and the palladium, zero, reacts with the aryl bromide, which is seen right here. In a state, in a step called oxidative addition, this oxidative addition step gives us an intermediate. The next step. We react this intermediate with the boronic acid. I am not going to show every little detail about this, but um, as I am running out of space, but. The original boronic acid that we have up here, we put down here and we react it with hydroxide, which is the base that's right here. Up here, where is it? Right here. React that with the base get this product right here and we end up with the OH3 and the 
this step is called trans metallation where after this intermediate reacts with this intermediate to make to, to get to the next to last step Note that these are palladium two intermediates. So the last step is reductive elimination, where our final product is what we expected. And that is in a nutshell we are and I am going to quickly go over the uh, remaining ones because they are similar and I am running out of time I have a lot of three minutes left so the uh, next reaction I am going to cover is the Shimabushiro reaction which is a reaction between group and a an SP hybridized carbon. So let's say we have once again a generic aryl bromide plus H and we're going to react it with a palladium catalyst copper bromide catalyst and triethyl nitrate. We're going to end up with this. Sorry. We're going to end up with this. Now the mechanism behind I am going to quickly draw this out. The steps are the same, so I'm not going to write them out. The only thing that's different different is the transmetallation so this is the transmetallation state where we react the copper iodide with our reactant over here to get this in this cupric intermediate over here. And that then reacts with this palladium two intermediate give us that intermediate right there to do the transmetallation state and as was the case in the last reaction the reductive elimination gives us our product Looks like I have run out of time, so I will only be covering these two reactions. So look for the uh, third reaction in my next video. Thanks for watching.